What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. So, got another tool haul video and going through them, you know, as a tech being in this industry, obviously you got your tool, you got your tool wants, you got your tool needs, you got your tool must-haves. Well, got a haul, I got one tool that I got a tool didn't know existed. So you always find out through you know YouTube or you know other co-workers that you work with or guys you work with you know about tools they may have in their toolbox or you watch a toolbox tour and you see hey what is that tool that's something that I may need you know I know a couple of my subscribers you know said hey a couple of tools in your tool hall I never knew I had to get it thanks for letting me know it was there but you know that's what these tool halls are about show you guys you know the tools that are out there you know because you don't see advertising for them it's not like you can see them on TV or if you got you know the tech at the shop don't buy tools or you know the same tool truck comes to the shop or things like that or you're not constantly shopping on Amazon you may not know a tool exists well I got one from Mighty Back that's just that so check it out shut up and sit down So the first two I'm going to show you guys are just a quick Amazon pickup I got this week. I put on order. I don't know if you guys caught the uh, the new guy Steve's toolbox tour, but he's got a couple Mighty Vac kits in there that one of them I've seen. I was just you know had on the list the tool the tool want list, but uh, I went ahead and, and pulled the trigger and got it. Part number um, MVA 5800. And it's the pretty much the you know the, the seal transmissions that don't have a dipstick to fill them up. So you use pretty much the the Mighty Vac pressure pump. You could use the stand up ones that uh, I've had, or they it comes with another smaller one. But here's the first kit, and it pretty much comes with all the fittings in the kit, and they're actually metal. But you got all the fittings and adapters, and this works with another kit that I got. It links to it. Um, so you could do easy brake bleeds um, with that other kit. You could use the bottle for putting trans fluid in and filling it up. We might do a tools in action. And I actually got a couple little quick tips on those things to uh, show you guys. But that's the kit, 10-piece set. Comes with all the 90-degree bends and straight tubes and screw-on ones <clears throat> that'll probably fill through the uh, you know speed sensor and all that stuff on maybe some of those. Uh, probably Audis and Volkswagens and stuff like that but it's got all the lists there nice toolkit grab this one on Amazon and then the other one from Mighty Mac I actually just opened up the box but here's the other kit this one works and the bottle works with that other kit but you guys can see this one's for like the power steering and master cylinder to uh, you know bleed brakes on your own or flush a system on your own to do a brake flush system quick and easy without a machine. So I'll show you guys what's in this one. It comes with a bottle, which is good. You put your fluid in here and then you can pump it up and it pressurizes it and then you hook it to the adapter and it uh you know you hook it right to the reservoir and it pumps fluid right in. This is I think a gallon or so or two gallons. Um, comes with that and it's got a quick setting. And then you got your accessories. It's got a little hanging accessory here. So after you pump it up, you can hang it on the hood or what have you if you're underneath the car, I guess. Definitely got a long enough hose for it. This connects the bottle to any adapter. And then it's also just got a little wand to where you can just fill the systems. Like maybe those brake reservoirs that are underneath the windshield washer call. You could uh, you know, stick it in there and fill it up through that. It's got a quick kinetic connection on that one. So a pretty nice kit as far as that goes and these two work together. So the last thing in here, the kit on this one, MVA 6850 and what comes in here is the actual caps that fit on the uh, master cylinder and all that. You got a universal one and then you got some of the uh, more popular ones for Toyota Lexus, Cr Chrysler obviously Jeep. Um, I got a Volvo in here and things like that, some Hondas, Mitsubishis and stuff like that. So super sweet kit, probably uh, maybe we'll run through this one, maybe you guys are using it, but uh, 
de definitely didn't know. There's some times that I've done these uh, flushes and things like that and did brake lines and couldn't get the uh, fluid to run through the ABS module without pressure and this would have came in handy. But real nice kit. Had to pick that up, grab that on Amazon too. Alright, and then the next couple, obviously I got off the trucks this week. Um, we'll start with Snap-on. Snap-on, just a quick haul. I got some more of the, the, the brushes they got, the wire brushes. They got some brass one, it looks like another stainless steel one in there. Uh, I was using the stainless steel one, I like how they got the longer bristles. So it kind of gets down into the crevices and all that stuff. They seem to last a while, but the handles, pl hard plastic with like the little rubberized texture on it. Nice little brushes. Can't remember what uh, what I paid for this. Maybe 10 or 15 bucks. Can't remember. It wasn't much. So I think I'm gonna start getting these brushes and then just use the other ones for my brake work and things like that. But nice little kit I got there from Snap-on. And then I picked up this bad boy. Another light. Looks like it's got uh, it's a floodlight, 35 lumen, through to 3,500 lumens, and it runs off the 18 volt system. So at least put these 18 volt batteries that I got to use. I don't use the half inch impact anymore. Well, too much anymore. I still use it, but not as much as I once did. Um, but this thing's definitely beefy. And this is the redesign. I think they had another design last year that uh, actually overheated the light because this thing is this thing is bright. But uh, it would overheat around, melt the plastic around the light. So they went ahead and did like a uh, aluminum heat sink around it. But that's pretty much it. You can see it's pretty big. Um, strap it on my head, do a headlight, or maybe a chest light, strap it to your chest. <laughs> but it's got little handles on the side here. That's where the battery goes. And then you could also, you know, charge your phone or laptop off it on the side. It's got a little output here. You could charge right off the 18 volt battery. But it's definitely built well. I thought there might have been a downside to it. I thought there might be a magnet on the bottom of it. And you could like stick it to the rack, but there's not. But you know me, guys. I might uh, might go ahead and have to mod this thing. But throw a battery in it. <clears throat> I got a charged up uh, battery right here. Just slides in there. Pop this thing on, and it's. Uh, I mean, this thing is super bright. It definitely throws the lumens. It's like blowing out the camera there. Sorry to blind you guys, but definitely a nice light. And then it's just fully adjustable, and it's got the rubberized. Just like those smaller ones, like these, it's got the rubberized, turn this thing off, outer edge. So if you bump a corner or drop it or whatever, it's protected on the edges. But it's built just like these and the other little smaller one I got. So I got the baby, the baby, the, the teenager, and the adult here. So all three, baby bear, mama bear, daddy bear. All three lights, but this one would definitely come in handy working underneath those cars, especially in this dark. I got a dark corner here, a dead spot where uh, sometimes the lights just not enough. The shop lights and the lights aren't enough. You know, set this thing on the ground, <coughs> point it up to a car, and be able to see. So I picked up that one. I'll try to leave a part number description on this one, or if you guys see these on the truck looking into them, they seem pretty nice. Definitely got some weight to them too, pretty heavy, especially with a battery. So if you guys got these batteries and you're not really using Snap-on Air Tools anymore, you got part of their 18 volt system, definitely a great way to put these to, to use. This, and I'll be using these batteries for the smoke machine too with the adapter that they have from the NICAD to these lithiums. And then another thing I grabbed off Snap-on, bringing up the smoke machine, I got the secondary smoke tube for the other side so I can smoke from two different angles. Pretty much uh, makeshift, it's just another business end, another hose, and then this clips into the, if you guys seen some of my other videos, you, you know where the service port is to get your secondary hose. And I got a second one here. Quick and easy stuff, still waiting on the UV camera. That's it. And then the final two here, it's got uh, my Cornwall pickup for the week. I got the, uh, he carries Milwaukee on the truck, Monster, and, uh, you know, all those decent brands on there. Not everything Cornwell, but uh, I picked up the, the M12 soldering iron. Been looking at this one, another one, another one I had on the list, but uh, he threw it to me for a pretty good deal, so I figured I'd pick this one up. Gives this one a use. I, I, you guys told me great things about this thing, and from what I heard, 
you know, hey, you, the soldering I do, it's nice to have all three, you know, the plug-in type, the butane type, now I got a battery type, so, so no matter what's powering these soldering irons, I got it, whether it's plugged into the wall, the butane, or the 12 volt M battery. So I picked up that one, I'll probably be breaking that one open today because I got some electric work I got to work on. And then the next one, I had to get those double flex from Cornwell. You guys, you guys know Steve's got them. I got the new guy that got them, but uh, these things definitely look pretty cool. Definitely look useful, but the build quality on them is nice. You know, just like the uh, the chrome polish and all that stuff, it definitely has the uh, you know the the locking non-slip teeth in there. It looks like it you know it bite down on these fasteners pretty good, but that flex, I mean, it's you can't beat that. You know, any angle, get around things, and ratchet, definitely pretty sweet. Turn it into an actual ratchet like that, almost like a socket on there, but. Uh, Definitely, definitely like these as soon as I saw them. I had to get them for myself. I may even get the standard set, but uh, picked these up. I think I paid like uh, maybe two, 220 or something from the Cornwell guy. I'll, uh, I'll try to find a part number, link this stuff down in the description for you guys. But, you know, definitely, you guys got wrenches. You get, have issues around it. These are definitely, it's like, a, it's like an S-type wrench, a moon-type wrench, a ratchet wrench, a regular wrench, all in one. But definitely like these. All right, guys, so that's the tool haul this week. As you can see, I'm wearing uh, OG tool heads. Ran out of shop shirts. Got to get over to the laundromat. But uh, quick announcement, too, on the channel. I got, uh, I got spring cleaning going around in the shop. I'm cleaning up. Actually, going to uh, revamp. Going to be building a mezzanine and things like that. I'll keep you guys posted on that. But I'm going to be doing a uh, live stream giveaway soon. Uh, got, got a bunch of stuff between... You know, things sponsors have sent me, um, things Snap-on keeps on giving me, promos and things like that. I got a bunch of stuff that I want to give away to you guys. So I'm going to be doing a quick live stream giveaway. Don't know the exact announcement date, but when I do get the exact date, I'll be sure to post that in the YouTube community. So you guys want to get on some pretty cool giveaway stuff, make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Um, quick tool haul for this week. Got to share the love. A little bit of Snap-on, a little bit of Cornwell, a little bit of Amazon, and online tool shopping. Always shop around for your tool, guys. See what, see what you get on the best deal, where you can get it for, and uh, you know, buy your tools as needed between your wants, needs, and while you're shopping, you might find a couple you never knew were there or never knew existed like I did, but definitely put this uh, Mighty Vac stuff to use. Maybe do, throw a quick tools and action out there for you guys. Do tools and action on this one, but definitely seems like a time saver. But as always, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.